Hello everyone, in this video we will continue to talk more about VVDI remotes, how you can finish the following operation with the XHorse generation devices like the Key Tool Plus, Key Tool Max, etc. Let's get into it. There's many types of VVDI remotes and here's one way that's going to help you distinguish them quickly. We're going to be using the mini key tool. In the steps that follow, we're going to connect the device to your smartphone. Tap Special Functions. Go to VVDI Remote Functions and then select Detect Remote. Place the remote and start detecting. It'll show all the information of the remote. We can see this in an XM38 Universal Smart Key. Detect another remote. It can be seen that this is not an XM38 Toyota T smart key. If it's an NXP smart key, the detection result will show that type of smart key and display its version. Next, we will demonstrate how to collect bonus points. First, generate the required option with VVDI NXP remote. Then return to the home page and tap the red button more to collect those bonus points. Okay, bonus points collection is successful. Please note that the bonus points are only available for the first successful generation. Generating wire remotes will give you 25 points. Generating wireless remotes and super remotes will award you with 40 points. Generating universal smart keys will give you 60 points, but there are no points for dedicated remote generation. For example, generating an XM38 Toyota T smart key won't generate any points. Next, let's talk about some tips about the remotes. Tap special functions, VVDI remote functions, query remote usage record. Place the remote as shown and then we can query the usage record of the remotes. Put in a knife style universal smart key. And we can check when the points were collected, when the remote was generated, and which option it was previously generated to. Tap special function. VVDI remote function, VVDI smart key clone. This function is used when exchanging remotes without key learning. For example, we want to use the KE universal smart key to generate the remote type which the knife style universal smart key uses. Then we could read the data of the match knife style universal smart key. After reading successfully, Place the KE Universal Smart Key into the coil and tap Clone. Wait for the write to succeed, at which point the KE.LEL Universal Smart Key will be used directly without matching. Note: Two keys cannot be used at the same time, otherwise their signals will interfere with one another which may lead to controller failure. If you need to make two keys, both keys will need to be matched. Tap special functions, VVDI remote functions, smart key customization. Let's take the knife style universal smart key as an example. Its lock button and unlock button are opposite and the trunk button is invalid. In this case, the remote buttons can be adjusted through the customization function. Read the data. We can see that the lock value is 4 and the unlock value is 1. Then we just need to change the lock value to 1 and the unlock value to 4. Tap settings. Write successfully. Then read again. The lock and unlock button have been adjusted properly. Next we will solve the problem 
of the invalid trunk button. Now the value of the trunk is 8 and the common value includes these displayed on the screen. Let's try to put these values one by one. Perform a test after each input until the trunk key is valid. If all values are invalid, please contact our technical support on the X-Horse app and we will do our best to help you. Okay, X-Horse fans, that wraps up today's video. If you have any further questions, please leave us a message in the comments. See you in the next video.